Hey, I've been trying to get OBS to make it not look like I'm living inside of a sand timer. As you can see, I failed. It's very grainy and I don't know why. The lighting seems fine, was in the past. I don't know what happened to my, my camera to make it go bad or my recording software, but hey, this is what you get. But today we're not talking about cameras because I'm not a technician or a software engineer or someone who deals with machines. I'm a zoologist and an ecologist. I'm a nature guy. That's me. That's who I am. Hello, I'm Scott. So today in the news, I have come across a very interesting topic indeed, one that's near and dear to my heart. Now I've tried to record this 50 times and I will try not to divert because I ramble a lot. I'm autistic and I have ADHD, ADHD. See, not very good. It is a terrible combination. Don't be autistic. It hard. <laughs> so when it comes to our topic today, we are talking about an alleged confirmation of a DNA swab confirming that big cats are on the prowl in the UK. Now, this isn't the first time we've had a confirmation. We have found a leopard skull in the past with no other part of the skeleton, just a skull. And they seem to think that came from a rug, which, you know, leopard skin rug, that's very possible. There's no other part of the skeleton when it comes to a leopard skin rug. So the skull, just, you know, toss it out there. That's fine. I would love to find that. I love skulls. Stop derailing. <sighs> so, what does this mean for us? This is really cool. I think it's cool. From the perspective of a zoologist and ecologist, I should probably just pick one to go by, but I'm both, so I'm going to use it. This would mean big things for us rewilders, people who want to see Britain in a healthier ecological state. Why? Because if we can confirm that an apex predator is already living here, despite it not being a native species, our, our last native cat, big cat, was the lynx, and it really should be reintroduced. It is a missing lynx <laughs> in our food chain or food web that is no longer present. Now, this leopard, if it lives here, could be fulfilling that role, and that's a topic for another day. If, it, if this animal is in fact here, or a population thereof, because, let's face it, they would have to have some sort of population, albeit small, um, and that would be supported by the fact that all the sightings have been on black animals, and since the black leopard gene is a recessive gene, if it's a small gene pool of fairly related individuals, it would make sense that it would get away fly. It would make sense that there's not a lot of them around, and that's why they're all black, blah blah blah. Anyway, again, derail that topic, push it down like an old lady on an escalator, and let's go to something actually important again. Uh, I forgot to mention that we actually have had a big cat captured alive in the UK before. I thought I mentioned it because I recorded this like five times. And I mentioned it before, but okay. So in the 19 whatevers, after the introduction of the Dangerous Wild Animals Act which means you can't have a dangerous wild animal without proper licensing. You can't just basically have a leopard in your house. Uh, a lot of animals were abandoned. So shortly around this time, I believe it was around this time, don't quote me because uh, I'm not an authority on this bullcrap, um, a mountain lion was actually captured alive in Scotland after it had started eating sheep and deer. I mean, like, right on, dude, keep doing that. <laughs> Um, she was actually caught and put into captivity at one of the zoos in Scotland. And her remains are actually in a museum in Scotland. I don't know where. I ain't looking it up. You can do that yourself. Google. It's right there. Actually, a kosher. Much better. Uh, regardless, that happened. So it's viable. It's possible. It's cool. I'm just going to probably insert this halfway through the video. So back to the video. 
This would mean that since we've been living with an apex predator, this opens up opportunities for us to actually reintroduce our native predators, which ecologists around the UK who know a thing or two about the environment know we need apex predators. There is no, there are no ifs or buts about it. We need them. A guy going around with a gun, shooting deer, it doesn't do the same thing. It doesn't give the same response from those food animals. Hunters aren't there 24 seven. Apex, wild apex predators are. Again, that's a topic for a different day. But it is very interesting if this is true. The article itself is from Discover Wildlife, which is from the team at the BBC Wildlife magazine. Uh, a reputable source, in my opinion, as this doesn't come from just a lowly person wanting attention. Like, people do crazy things for attention. But this person, uh, Robin Allaby, who works at the University of Warwick, has carried out an ana analysis at their laboratory and told the BBC Wildlife team that it was very hard to lift DNA from swabs taken from carcasses, but there was no doubt in this case it came from a member of the Panthera genus. Now, the genus Panthera is... So, think of a lion. Lion's scientific name is Panthera leo. That is the lion's scientific name. The genus is that front bit, the panthera part. Now, panthera contains tigers, lions, leopards, jaguars, and snow leopards. I don't believe there are any more. No, I don't think so. They are all the panthera genus. So there's only five species to choose from, at least macro species. And it's not a lion. We would have known if we'd seen a lion or a tiger. Um... Maybe a jaguar, but very unlikely due to them preferring hotter climates, though they can tolerate cooler. But I am in agreement. I'm definitely not a snow leopard. Come on. Come on. They're endangered. Who would let one go here? They probably do well in, like, Wales or something with all the goats around and all the ex quarry. Regardless of what would be cool to introduce here. Leopards fit the bill really well. They can be very small compared to what you imagine a leopard could be. Their weights range from anywhere from 20 kilograms. That's the size of your average female husky dog, in terms of weight at least, all the way up to over 100 kil kilograms, which is how much I weigh. <laughs> Had to do it. Um, or, you know, just think about a really big ostrich. They're around 100 kilos. So, all in all, could be a big animal, but most likely is quite a small individual being able to hide in the British countryside, which, contrary to what all the documentaries about this nation would have you believe, we don't have a lot of places to hide. Not a lot of tree cover. Very small amount. <laughs> I think it's less than 14% tree cover in the UK. Something abysmal. But despite that, leopards are the most stealthy of the big cats. They're very good at hiding. And if they're a black big cat, only coming out at night with a small population, I think that is absolutely viable. That is absolutely possible. Is it happening? I won't say yes because I can't confirm it. Until I see a living, breathing individual, member of the species, captured on video, or irrefutable proof on camera, then I won't say yes. But to be fair, I'm I'm leaning towards the yes. Because I want it to be true. <laughs> um, my reputation as an ecologist isn't on the line because like, who cares what I think anyway? Like this is a video on the internet, no one knows who I am. So I can say whatever. I think Bigfoot's real. No, I don't. I wish. That'd be cool. But yes, I hope this is true. This person has no reason to lie. I mean, a lot of people, as I said, will do anything for attention. They're 15 minutes of fame. But I don't think that's what they're doing. I think they received us, they went 
took a swab, and this is what it's come back as. Now, why wouldn't it come back as a fox like last time? Foxes are very abundant. There's probably hundreds of thousands of them here in the UK. But it wasn't a fox. It came back as a member of the Panthera genus. And I think that is very interesting to explore. And maybe, someday soon, uh, a team can actually put out proper investigation into this phenomena. Because if we can confirm an apex predator is living wild in the UK, that could mean wonderful opportunities for us, people who want to see the reintroduction of big apex predators that belong here, I can't remember where I was going with that sentence, so I'm just going to finish it here. Opportunities could arise from the confirmation of a population of wild apex predators such as leopards. I've been Scott, and this has been me rambling. I hope you enjoyed.